John, talk us through what's in this report exactly. Uh, the report is, is a watershed event uh, and a turning point for Black Lives Matter worldwide. Uh, the report was triggered following the death of uh, George Floyd in May last year in Minneapolis, and it was requested by the 47 members of the Human Rights Council in a consensus request to the High Commissioner. The report interviewed over 340 people and received over 110 submissions and calls for radical measures, it calls for robust measures to end impunity and to make sure the human rights of Af people of African descent are protected worldwide. It also calls for policies and practices to investigate and to track allegations of uh, violence by police and to ensure that law enforcement officers are brought up to speed on human rights. Now, the report also examined 250 deaths around the world, and it came to the conclusion that 190 of these were at the hands of law enforcement officers, and the majority, 98%, occurred in Latin America, North America, and Europe. So there is a, a worrying trend now that the data is being examined globally. And John, how does this report detail the problem of systemic racism here in France, for instance? Well, yes, the, the, the section on France uh, is also very worrying. It talks that uh, young men perceived as Arab or black were 20 times more likely to be subjected to identity checks by uh, police uh, authorities. Now, this compares with nine times greater uh, in London, and in the case of uh, Toronto, a black person was likely to be involved in a shooting 20 times greater than a white person. And in the United States, although black Americans only make 13 percent of the population, they account for 26 percent of the arrests. So the High, Commission, High Commissioner, which will table her report to the Human Rights Council on the 12th of July, has asked for a major overhaul by member states and to bring their act together and to consult people of African descent in their policy making. That's crucial. Indeed. John, thank you very much for that. John Zorkos is reporting there from Geneva.